Hello and welcome to this video playing Nat Rost. Nat Rost. Nat Rost 2000. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Okie dokie, yeah, C5. That's not a particularly great line. White can capture. Ah, but I not, don't really know it. Okay, I'm still taking up that challenge. C4 is leading to the Maroxy, probably, which is uh, one of my favorite lines. This is why I'm hesitating. But okay, D takes C5 is supposed to be excellent for white. So I'm giving it giving it a go. Okay, knight a6. Hmm. Yeah. Taking it. <laughs> Is that an idea? I don't know. It looks a little bit. Oh, but it's very quick, yeah. I'm developing very quickly if I take. It's also worth worth something. Very quick development. So hmm, what to do now? Rookie one, yes, rookie one, I guess. He has a tough time with this knight there. Eh? Knight f6 and pushing e5. Not so easy to develop this. Yeah, he ultimately decided to try to develop it. I think I go e5 now, using the time gainer here. Wow, that is playable. Can hardly believe it. Uh, the reason why I'm skeptic is that that knight has no squares. I mean, no squares. After something like queen to d4, he probably will play. Yeah, I don't know what he will play. f5. That uh, looks pretty awful. But maybe he has to. Okay, so queen c4, I guess. <clears throat> still attacking the knight that still has no squares and uh, preventing black from castling. Okay, now checking is one option. Or just taking, of course. Hmm. Yeah, after the check, there is queen d7. That still seems kind of okay. Um, now, yeah, check on a4 or somewhere else. Queen, queen e6 is also a move. Queen e6, bishop f3, queen f6, but rook f8, still looks pretty awful, hmm, I don't know, yeah, that's probably not bad. I'm behind on time quite a bit, have to be... Cautious there not to fall uh, too much behind. Uh, rook f8, no, no it's attacking this. Uh -huh. So queen f6 is queen e1. Okay, so whew, what is the point after bishop d2? Queen f5? Or? Or just knight c3. Yeah, 
Yeah, why why not? Why not? Why not develop that? D6 and F6 are hanging, and Bishop D2 is not a very helpful move anyway. Hmm. I don't see a move for black. They are both hanging, F6 and D6. I mean, you can move the king, but that is kind of uh, last resort here. King f8 is bishop h6, so king d8, yeah. Yeah, that's made in one. Checkmate. But uh yeah, anyway, that was a that was just an unplayable opening in that way. Um yeah, I mean that that whole line with c5 is pretty questionable. The main line, however, goes um queen a5 check. Check. C3, queen c5, and now knight to a3. This is supposed to be the um the the problem for for black and uh, he indeed has a hard time i think uh, if i'm not mistaken the best line now is uh, knight to f6 after which i'm sorry knight f6 after which white has uh, some options um this is a simple one that leads to an advantage but i think there are um, even better continuations but i'm not a huge expert um yeah, this is however what normally is done. Okay, here I am. I just went for the for for taking for speeding up development. He captured castles. Yeah, and I'm I'm just much better developed. And the pawn on c5 is still not. I mean, black has not regained it. Yeah, he's down one pawn for his miserable position. Okay, this this knight f6 looks very normal and yeah. Queen e4, I don't know. This has no squares. It just loses, I think. Yeah, this is given by the comp, but bishop h6 is pretty powerful. That's a nice move. Something, something like this is an extra pawn and a huge pressure for white. Or alternatively, if he takes, oops, takes here. It's also <laughs> far, far away from being being ideal. Yeah. Okay, he took with that, and uh, interestingly enough, the engine wants to go queen to b4. Yeah, that is actually a very good idea. It's a double attack essentially. Takes with the rook, and queen takes b7 as the threat. Yeah, that wins more material even. This is uh, also not so bad, but queen b4 is better. In fact, it is bad. The computer gives rook c8 with a good position for black. Wow. Why? Ah, wow, that's a cool trick. No, I didn't see that at all. Yeah, this is a very cool trick. I cannot take it because of d5. That's very, 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 very uh, nice. Yeah, and uh, the capture is impossible, the rook on c8. I can check, check. here, but bishop c6. That's yeah, pretty remarkable. Wow, so queen c4 was a big mistake, actually. I, I didn't see the d5 resource, absolutely not. Uh, and this is the only thing that he can play also. It's, it's, everything else is, 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 is losing, basically. He has a move that is good and uh, and stuff that loses, like like here. This is a plus plus four position. He cannot save his, his pieces here. And okay, this was, was made straight away. So, hmm, that was still a, amazing that queen to c4 is a mistake here i mean it is also once you see queen b4 it's pretty clear that this is good but i was thinking queen c4 is, is doing almost the same thing the knight still has no squares and the only move that i saw was d5 i didn't think concretely like rook c8 and then that this is a move that's really really amazing um the question is, uh, do I have something better? I mean, this is given by the computer, and uh, it's not. 
Yeah, I mean, this is a, a position, but I'm, I'm not better here. Huh, remarkable. Yeah, rook c8, what's, what a resource. Okay, very interesting. Okay, thanks for watching.